Hey everybody, Mike from Mass Construction. Welcome to Ask Mass Con Mike, the show where you send your questions in. We will illustrate the answer to your questions and show you the location within the code where you can find the answer to your question. And hopefully solve your problem. If you'd like to ask a question, you can ask it via Instagram, LinkedIn, any of our social platforms, or reach out to us via email, and we will make sure that question gets in Mike's hands and answered for you. First question today is, and our only question today, is on a couple of occasions, I've looked up code questions, found the answer, and then I'm told I'm looking in the wrong book. How do I know which book I should be looking in? So we'll just hit the question of which book real quick here. And for all intents and purposes, one and two family dwellings are the IRC. Hold that thought. Everything else, as far as multifamily or commercial uses, so multifamily is three units and more, and all other commercial uses, high rises, restaurants, whatever it might be, are going to come out of the IBC. So there's the split. One and two family dwellings and all other. One and two family dwellings IRC, all other IBC. Anything other than a one and two family dwelling. Now we have some other code that we need to consider. Uh, for instance, the International Existing Buildings Code is a code if you have a building that was constructed under a different edition of the code, uh, the International Existing Buildings Code is going to be your go-to to say, okay, you have this existing buildings, there are some non-conformities with construction, and how do we save that from having to be upgraded to the code for new construction? So that's what the existing buildings code is going to do for you. Energy, which is a hot uh, topic, is out of the International Ex Energy Conservation Code, and uh, we have uh, some significant changes that have taken place that will be taking place uh, further uh, after the first of the year. So that's energy. Uh, there are numerous... Um, reference codes that we utilize as well as far as fire code and mechanical code and whatnot. But that's the core of the uh, building code requirements as far as what book should I be looking at. So taking this a little bit further, if uh, you know we still have you here and you want to take a deep dive, the one and two family dwelling is not as cut and dry as you would think. So I will just read a little bit from the one and two family amendments from Massachusetts. And when it says, you know, what does the IRC pertain to? What do we apply the IRC to? Uh, I'll read the line. It says, detached one and two family dwellings and multiple single family dwellings, which are townhouses, and townhouses are defined as three or more, not more than three stories above grade plane in height. So to take it a little bit further, the IRC pertains to one and two family dwellings in townhouses, one to a hundred, doesn't matter how many you have attached, that are under three stories in height, right? So once you go above three stories for these structures, whether it be townhouses, even a one and two family dwelling, they are no longer IRC. You're going to the IBC for those dwelling structures, for those structures for that matter. Hey, Mike, uh, can I ask you a, a question here? Sure. Is there a threshold on how many square feet a single or two family house could be. Could I build a 10,000 square foot home and still be a one and two family? You can. The difference comes in uh, in square footage and is when uh, different thresholds for life safety systems, sprinkler systems to be more specific. So one and two family dwellings in the state of Massachusetts do not require sprinkler systems until you hit X amount of square feet. And then townhouses even though you build them as IRC structures, as one and two family structures, uh, once you hit X amount of square feet and so many units. So at three units, you're providing a sprinkler system for that town, those townhouses. And then once you hit 12,000 square feet, you have another threshold uh, for sprinkler system. So even though you're still constructing them as IRC structures, the square footage will only change the life safety of the sprinkler requirement thresholds for those structures. And then one other thing, Mike, a common point of confusion that I've seen on this is how about date of the book? I think sometimes people looking at the wrong uh, edition. Right. 
So in Massachusetts, currently we are on the 2015 edition of the international codes. So the international code IRC, IBC, we utilize the 2015. So we use across the family of codes, IRC, International Existing Buildings Code, uh, IBC, we're on the 2015 edition. That's the ninth edition of the building code. I don't want to get into energy, um, but for all intents and purposes, we're on the 2021 Energy Conservation Code. So the idea is based on uh, where you are in the country, but more specifically in Massachusetts, you want to make sure that you have right now the 2015 edition of the IBC, IRC, um, or the International Existing Buildings Code. Energy, you can be on the 2021 uh, energy code, which is what we've just adopted, and that gets a little deeper, but uh, at least make sure you have the 2021 Energy Conservation Code. So the message to everyone there is look at whatever state you're in, go to whatever the regulatory body is, and find out what year is applicable in, in your state at, or municipality at that time. Yes. Well, hopefully that helped. If you want to ask us a question, you can reach Mike at, at MassCon Mike, myself at Mass.Construction. You can find us on LinkedIn, email, wherever. Get us a message. We'll get that in Mike's hand, and we will answer your questions.